Hello friends, in this video I will show you a simple SQLite database example in Sketchware. So this is a Sketchware app and here I can enter or add some data to the database and view the data. So let me add some data. Ravi age 36 then place let's name it Kanpur okay so when I click on add to data it gets added to the database and it is displayed in a list view and this 6 gives the count of this database so let's move to sketchware here you can see there are three edit text fields there is a button to add to database there is a refresh button and there is text view 2 for count and list view 1 so first thing which we have to do is add a java file go to java manager and add a java file called db handler with d capital h capital and b in small letters db handler dot java and inside this you can change the project name package name change the package name here and then copy the code from this site okay you will get the same code here so you have to copy this code okay now let's try to understand this code so this code first defines these string variables db name db version table name so these things we need not change or you can change these things here then this id column the name column age column and place column so we will be changing these three name age place and if you want more columns you can add it here okay then there is this constructor of db handler after that there is the on create event in on create it defines a string called query here the id column is integer primary key auto increment and this automatically increases it starts at one and increases if we add more data okay where is the name column age column and place column are texts and this is added to the this query is added to database so here is this new the method add new pupil this method we will use to add the data to the database it takes these string variables name age and place so these three string variables we can add and we can use this code to update data in the database okay here you can see it contains content values to which the name column age column and place column are put and the values are these string variables name age and place so it is inserted in the database next is the get text method here the first int id is the id or you can see the column id so this will be the entry in the the id of the entry in the database so suppose we have made three entries then it will be one two and three whereas this id two is used here it is for the name age and place so name will be id 0 age will be id 1 and place will be id 2 so this will be 0 1 and 2 so that we can we have to put here so get text we can use to retrieve data next thing is get count method this will give us the number of entries in the database or number of rows in the database and in the end is on upgrade nothing in this so let's go to sketch where events so in extra we have to define a db handler called db handler okay then we have to define it in on create db handler is equal to new db handler 
main activity dot this after that we create a new more block called update list and here here I have a number variable count count is equal to db handler dot get count so I have one more number variable n set n to count and display this count in text view 2 then clear this list string called db list and then repeat for count so suppose there are three items in the database so three entries in the database so this count will be equal to three so repeat three times db text here db text is a string variable Uh, this one db text is a string variable so db text is equal to db handler dot get text and here I show you n is the number the entry and 0 is here the 0 is for name okay so first I get the name then I have comma and space then I get the here it is 1 so I get the age then I have years and comma and space and then I get the place okay so db text will display the name comma age comma years comma place and I add this db text to list string db list and in the end I display this db list in list view So I update this in on create. Update this list in on create. And when button one is clicked, I set the string variables name is and place to edit text one, edit text two, and edit text three. And then I add it to DB handler, which is the database using this code. DB handler dot add new pupil name comma age comma place. Here name, age and place are the string variables which are here which I have created and after this I update the list button 2 is refresh button so here I only update the list so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this